Welcome back to Multi Tarantula. I'm going to be reading Wings of Fire, the graphic novel, book six, Moon Rising, part two. Uh, I Yesterday I read 50 pages. Today I'm going to be continuing. And yeah, so please like and subscribe. Uh, the first video has over 100 views and it's only been 16 hours. And I'm re I'll be really grateful if this this video would also could also achieve that. All right, so now let's continue. That's Jade Mountain. Jade Mountain is falling. I can't move. I can't speak. I can't warn the dying dragon. This nightmare again. It can't be real. It's just everything I worry about and mother worries about and now probably every anything all everything all the dragons around me worry about exploding my head. It's not a vision. It's not a prophecy. It's not a future. Please, it can't be the future. I just want to wake up. Talons and teeth, you poor little dragonette. Darkness. Cool, still, peaceful darkness. This is the first silence I've ever found. The first silence uh, I've found since coming to Jade Mountain. I want to rest here forever. This is a dream. That other telepath lifted me out of my nightmare, but I'm still asleep. Thank you for that. What you you should be able to do that yourself. Why can't you do anything? Shield your thoughts. Silence the voices. By all the moons, why has no one trained you to step outside your visions? That wasn't a vision. It was just a nightmare it, I've been having over and over, ever since the comet. That's your opinion? You are a mess. I know. Someone should be punished for letting you get this way. No one knows I'm like this. Who trained you? My father. Oh, that sounds nice. Your father, Malazir, died in the volcano. That's all you need to know. You wouldn't say so if you'd ever known my father. What volcano? I, I didn't. Please don't do that. Do what? Ah, invade your privacy, rummaging through your thoughts. Isn't that what you do? Not on purpose. I wish I could stop. And I don't want to see the future, especially if it's like that. Don't wish to be ordinary, Moon Watcher. Your powers are a gift. A gift? Not according to my mother. She sees everyone will hate me if they find out. Not that they liked me very much to start with. Why does that matter? You're better than they are. Well, you could be. Right now, you're a little pathetic. Thanks. See? That made you angry, but you still want to talk to me. Because of my power, the same will be true for you. What if I just want friends? Dragons who aren't scared of me. I'll be your friend. I'm not even remotely scared of you. Besides, dragons who are scared of you can be useful. Would you really give up your powers if you could? Mother would want me to, but what would it be like to be empty inside all the time? To only know the outside of everyone and never know what's coming? You really don't know? Wait. Uh, no. I don't want to be like other dragons. I just want them not to mind that I'm different. I want to stop being scared of being found out, my, of my visions, of other dragons, of everything. Who are you? You really don't know. Uh, I can help you with that. How would I? Are you another student or a teacher or that stone mover dragon? Can we meet in real life? I have so many questions. You must be another Nightwing, right? But then why didn't you speak to me in the rainforest? The Nightwings are in the rainforest now. Interesting. I can't reach that far. So much more has passed than I realized. What year is it, Moon Watcher? More time since what? How long since the scorching? Surely this is something you've learned from your beloved scroll. He'll just pluck it from my mind anyway. 5,012 years. What? What just happened? Are you still there? How do I figure out where he is? I don't think it's one of the other Nightwing students. Maybe it's time to look for Stone Mover. I sense four dragonettes still awake, but none of them seem to like seem like the voice I've been talking to. Sora's doing a calming visualization exercise. I don't know the others. I'm guessing Stone Mover lives on the far side of the mountain. Lost another scale today, and she didn't come. But then, why would she? Sigh. Hungry again. Nothing I can do about that. He doesn't sound like the other telepath, but I've come this far. Hello. Hello. He doesn't seem to recognize me. I'm Moonwatcher. Are you, are you Stone Mover? Sigh. 
Unfortunately, yes. My first visitor from the academy, apart from Sunny, of course. She said other dragons might come talk to me, but there's no one. Not even Sunny. It's only the first day. I'm sure it was a really busy day for Sunny. Hmm. Huh. Guess. You must know a lot about Nightwings. Because I'm old, so old, I suppose, compared to you, I certainly am. I don't know. I just, I, I was wondering if there were any mind readers in your generation. Ah, uh, no, no. The mind readers are all gone for many, many moons now. We are better, far better off without them. That kind of power will ruin your life. I can see his curse in his mind. Stone Move is an animus dragon. A dragon whose power soul is one love, his hope for a family, his home, and in the end, his very skills, turning them to stone. Does it have to be like this? Is it possible to have powers and not lose everything else? If I can find the mind reader I've been talk speaking to, maybe he'll teach me how to avoid Stone Mover's fate. I'm sorry, I could get I should get back. It was nice to meet you. You too, Moon Watcher. Sorry. That didn't take as long as I thought. The same four dragonets are awake. Poor Sora. I hope she gets some sleep sometime. I see how you benefit from this plan, but I'm not hearing any guarantees from me. What is that? Someone's dream is tugging at me. If I kill them, how do you I know you'll tell me the truth? And what happens to him if they catch me? They won't catch you. Just do it, and I'll give you the thing you most want. It's someone's dream, but somehow it's a conversation. That wasn't my mind reader friend, but it was definitely a conversation between minds. How is that possible? How is this possible? Are there even more telepaths around here? I know, a dream visitor. Someone's using a dream visitor to talk to one of the dragons at school. And whoever it is, they're planning a murder. It's morning! Isn't it wonderful? Can not could you? It is the opposite of wonderful. We get to meet our, our winglet today. Isn't that exciting? What does that mean, our winglet? That's our school group. Each winglet has one dragon from each tribe. We're in Jade Winglet, get it? Not a whole wing of dragons, just a smaller group, a winglet. I can't wait to meet our sea wing. They sound so weird. We're supposed to become friends, and then we'll understand all the tribes. But nobody will ever want to do, go, and nobody will ever want to go to war again. Rainwing, Hinkaju, Moon Nightwing, Moon Walker, Skywing, Carnelian, Sea Wing, Mystery, Mudwing, Mystery, Sandwing, Mystery, Icewing, Mystery. What do I do about what I heard last night? If someone is planning a murder, I have to tell Sunny and Starfoot. I can't without revealing my secret. Stay secret. Stay hidden. Stay safe. And what if I'm wrong? Maybe it is just a dream. It was just a dream. Maybe I can find a scroll about dream visits. Kinkachu, I have to go to the library. You can't go now, Moon. We have our first class with our winglet. This morning, class with Tsunami. Gong. That's the first warning. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Carnelian. I guess I can go to the co library after class. There's that weird nightwing that doesn't talk at all. She tried to steal that Icewing scavenger. Seems stuck up like all nightwings. What will they think about, or think of me? Will anyone like me? What if I say something stupid? It doesn't sound like anyone's thinking about strange dreams or murder plots, but it's hard to tell through all the noise. Classroom with tsunami. Classroom rules. Razor a talon before speaking. No fire, frostbuck, sting, or venom. No live prey. Respect fellow students and teachers. Remember, amnesty for all. Hello, it's me, Tsunami. Welcome to your first class. Nice work finding the right case. Carnelian, and Kinkajou, and Moonwatcher, right? Oh, be impressed. I've been practicing to memorize all of you. 35 names, new names. It helps that I knew some of you before, of course. Like me, tail kisser. And turtle. Hey everyone, this is my brother. Can you believe I have a brother? Or a million brothers, apparently. I'm just assuming Turtle's the best since he's here right now. It's true, I am. <laughs> Turtle's, Turtle's still blocking me. Could he be the one from the dream? Or could he be the voice in my head? Mystery voice, are you Turtle? Oh, you're Umber, right? Clay's brother. Yes, right. He's Sora's brother, too. So Sora's not our, in our winglet. That's too bad. Aw, his mind is so warm and friendly. Oh good, here comes the last pair. After yesterday, we decided to switch things around a bit. You're all interested in scavengers, so it seemed like a good match. Oh no. It's her. 
Now I can keep an eye on her. Now I can figure out her her out. She looks a little scared of everyone. Why? Is she a threat or someone to protect? I wonder what she thinks of me. I don't know. It's so hard to think when so many other thoughts are crowding out all in at once. Eee, the ominous, handsome, glittery, brooding Icewing. Wow, he's gorgeous. But I hate everyone. Let's introduce ourselves. Maybe it's unnecessary, but Sunny said we should. And then we said, she said I probably sh wouldn't listen to her, so there. I'm Tsunami. I was going to call myself Commander of Recruitment, but everybody voted I'll be terrible at recruiting and made me head of school instead. So I'm pretty much the boss. Any questions? What if I prefer to be with dragons from my tribe, such as my sister? Are we stuck with this group? That's not how I'll put it, Carnelian, but yes. When do we eat? Just kidding, pretending to be clay. Did he think that was funny? Does he like me? Alright, introductions. Carnelian, want to go first? No. I'm Carnelian. Anything else? Family? Favorite color? Anything? I'm loyal to Queen Ruby. I believe Queen Scarlet's dead. But if not, I'll happily kill her. I should be with my battle on, but my queen sent me here, and my favorite color is red. Insecure. Carnelian's only comfortable fighting. She's worried we'll figure, think she's dumb, and Queen Ruby will find out. And she would never become a general. Might be un, might be unpredictable. It's dangerous. Brave, though. Brave, though. Angry on purpose to repel us, I think. He's right, but how does he know all that? He's not a mind reader. Did he figure it out just by noticing? I'm Kinkachu. I can't wait to learn to read. I want to know everything about all your tribes, and I think this school is the best idea in the world. And my favorite color is yellow. Of course it is. Should I tell them about being a Nightwing prisoner? No, that's a little grim for first impressions. Your turn. I'm Moonwatcher, but please, call me Moon. Um, I grew up in the rainforest. I like squirrels. Or nothing that would be all right, too. I can't say, please, don't talk to me at all, can I? And I'm a mind reader, and I can see the future, and Turtle might kill his sister, and someone's spying in our dreams, and I'm afraid the whole mountain might fall on us. Oh, sorry, I miss my mother. Uh, I like scrolls. Me, too. At least I like scrolls that weren't written by my, uh, my mother. I've read those way too many times. I'm Turtle. Hmm, Turtle's used to being invisible. Almost prefers it. And not all, but not always. Doesn't like to try too hard. Interesting armband. Doesn't don't recognize like the stone. Kibli seems to think Turtle's harmless. I wonder what he'll say about my vision. I'm Kibli. I'm one of Queen Thorn's outclaws. I plan to learn everything as fast as possible and get her back to help her run the kingdom. I'm sure she's lost without you. And I'm sure you're perfectly essential to your kingdom. Ah, uh, that hit home. I was right. He doesn't think he's worth much to his family, although he likes us to think differently. And I'm Umber. Carnelian, I think we were in a battle together once. You look familiar. Oh, I didn't realize you fought in the war, too. Maybe I do have allies here. Yeah, with my siblings. Sora, Marsh, and I came here together, but I miss Reed and Pheasant. They can visit any time. They can even live here if they want. They're working for Queen Moran now, but maybe one day. Well, I am Winter, Queen Glacier's nephew. Don't you mock me. I wouldn't dream of it. If you're head of school, does that mean you're the dragon to talk to about getting a private cave? Why, yes, I am. And the answer is no. See, Winter, I'm your destiny. Can we get on with the discussion? What is the point of this? To talk about anything you want. To find out what dragons from other tribes think. And to see things from a whole new point of view. All right, I want to talk about Nightwing powers. Winter's such a moon-licking crocodile, picking a moon for no reason. Poor Moon's not going to enjoy that. Maybe we could talk about the war instead. What, what's Queen Thorn like? Wait, I'm confused about the Nightwings too. Is it true they don't have powers anymore? I heard they never had powers. They've been lying about them for year, thousands of years. But the Dragonet prophecy was real. The Dragonet's destiny did stop the war. No, Umber. My father made it up. I read it in the Nightwings' minds. They all knew it was false. What if they're lying now and secretly do have powers? Snail droppings. I told Starfleet we'll get asked about this. Why would I have to lie to protect the Nightwing's precious reputation? It doesn't really matter, right? The war is over. No more prophecies to worry about. It matters if they were manipulating us. 
or if they are still are. Do they have powers of, and if not, how did they lose them? Thousands of dragons are still terrified of the Nightwings. They deserve the truth. I, I totally agree with you. Well, nobody's sure what the truth is. Nobody's sure there's a Nightwing right here, can't we ask her? Moon wasn't raised with the other Nightwings. She's been told all the same lies as everyone else. Thank you, Kinkajou. Please, please believe her. Don't ask me any more questions. Oh, maybe I don't have to hate her after all. But still, a Nightwing's a Nightwing, and none of them can be trusted. That explains why she doesn't have that beaten down but smug aura of the other Nightwings. Was she lonely, or does she prefer being alone? Maybe she's not used to making friends. I could be her friend, carefully. Look, the important thing is, if Nightwings ever had powers, they don't anymore. And if someone ever says you're in a prophecy, tell them to eat their tails. If I told Tsunami about my powers, or the vision I had, or the voices I heard, she wouldn't believe me. Who wants to go hunting? I know, I do. Great idea, Tsunami. No arguing with Dad of school. Off we go. I guess that decision, that discussion is over. Snort. His eyes are so angry and sad and suspicious all at once. Hey, Winter, leave her alone. She's not the enemy. You can find out the truth from the other Nightwings. Then tell us, right? Ha, ah, they'll probably tell a nice all their secrets before they trust me. Um, maybe? Were their powers ever real? What else are they lying to us about? I mean, you. What else are you lying about? If I'm scary enough, she'll do what I want. Hey, Igloo Face, that's not cool. Yeah, Moon's in our winglet. We are supposed to support one another. I'm with Igloo Face. If we're going, supposed to get snuggly, there shouldn't be secrets. Let's make her tell us everything. Whatever you guys decide. Poor Moon. I want to know the truth, too. I'll fight I'll fight Winter if I have to. He curls his claws, favors his front talons, go from his first, uh, shoulders first. I have to disable his snout. Will Moon like it if I fight for her, or would she rather I try to a peaceful argument first? Hope she stands up to him. No being mean to my new best friend, no matter how dazzling you are. New best friend? Does King Shu really mean that? All right, please stop trying to scare me, Winter. You're not as terrifying as you think you are. Nice. Take that. Stop liking her. Like Father said, be strong, be vigilant, strike first. Trust nobody, not even interesting Nightwings with silver teardrop scales. Fine, you find out the truth about Nightwing powers, and you stop threatening everybody. Hey, I didn't promise anything about everybody, just her. I have an icing warrior masticate to maintain, after all. I think my clawmate just made a joke. That's possible? Yes, I knew that dragon was in there. If I can just drag him out. Are you all right? Nod. More than I've been in months, being around dragons who actually like me. Well, it may not last, but for now, it's kind of amazing. Don't get too comfortable, little moon. Be careful who you trust. The dragons who like you now are the most likely to betray you. Believe me, I know. I smell something furry. <laughs> wow. I thought they didn't know how to hunt. Starfly told me they bite their prey. Wait for it to die of infection. They need the dead thing. They're learning to hunt properly. Uh, now, uh, and I just um taught myself. Maybe we can share it? Really? That would be great. I miss the desert. The land here is all folded and squiggly. Too many hiding places. Nice work, Moon. We've caught a few things, too. Let's go to the prey center. The prey center. All that noise. Maybe I should get lost and go back to my cave instead. Don't waste your powers cowering alone. Clearly, you didn't get splitting headaches every time you walk into a crowd. Perhaps I can help. Imagine the sound of ocean waves. I never heard ocean waves. What? Were you raised under a mountain? Fine. Some other soothing, repetitive noise. Would rain work? Yes, exactly. Fill your head with rain. The long, lonely days hidden in my fern burrow, listening to the rain, wishing I was hearing mother's wings instead. You tragic little dragon. I am not tragic. I'm lucky. Mother saved me. She seems to have a lot of opinions about what's best for you, none of which involving finding out what you want. Hold on to the rain sound and imagine slipping each voice inside a raindrop. After a minute, all their insignificant thoughts will drown in the downpour. Hmm. 
Oh, it won't work with mine. I'm not so easy, easily submerged. Go try it on that yammering rainwing. Her name is Kinkajou. I wonder what we'll do after lunch. Maybe reading practice or history or music? Imagine Winter singing. I wonder if he can scowl and sing and look darkly handsome and mortally offended cementuously. Probably. Raindrop. Kinkajou's face. Moon! Moon's quiet in the, on the outside, but secretly a total fierce face. It's more difficult when the thoughts are about you, and easier with many voices at once, such as in a crowded room. Also, it takes practice. I'll practice. Why must I be in the same cave as her? What did I just eat? Totally hungry. If that mudwing makes one more grustic slurping noise, the dragon had smarts into war. It's easy for Dan to talk about forgiveness. Maybe I should try a different papaya. But what if the next papaya is boring too? The last one's coconut. You look happy all of a sudden. Just figure something out. This is amazing. It is the first trick the mind-reading dragonette learns. It's rather a wonder you're as tenuously sane as you are. Very funny. I was mostly alone all the time. Luckily, I didn't need to shout out Sloth and Toucan. Raindrop, it's all rain- It. Sorry, you said the goat, remember? If you change your mind, no worries. I'll wrestle for a fish. Look, fish. No, Kibbly, of course, here. I w could get a fish, if you were wondering. Let me tell you, Moon. Growing up in the scorpion den with a family that hates you makes a dragon really good at stealing, fighting, and scroungering. Why did your family hate you? Oh, they sort of hate everyone. It's a no big deal. Poor Kibbly. None of that is going to fit in a raindrop. Wait, another vision. Where is she? Hey, whoa, Moon. Everything all right? Stuffing, sorry, you were saying? I joined the out closet at three. The best news of my life is I'll never have to see my family again. But that's not true. Not according to my vision. Who is that she he's looking for? His mother? Foreign? I wish I could warn him. I wish Nightwings hadn't lied for centuries. I wish dragons wouldn't hate me for my powers so I could use them to help instead of hiding them. I, I figured out who I heard last night. Maybe I can still save someone. I have to go to the library. No, we're eating together. You haven't even finished your hairy, smelly carpet thing. Don't leave me alone, Moon. Please stay and be my best friend. Sure. Okay. Can you tone that down, Kinkajou? It's a very exciting color that I've never seen before, but it's a little bright. Eyeball scorching. It happens when I'm happy. But if you prefer something a bit more sedate... Ah! I don't actually know you. You might be totally serious right now. No, I'm just kidding. I can be totally ordinary and boring. Umber, don't worry. Boring hasn't exactly made it onto my list of words to describe you. Winter! Want to sit here? With your winglet, I mean? Absolutely not. He's so tortured. Sai, you're a little weird, Kinkachu. The seaweed princess. Oh, thank the moons. I haven't eaten since we last left Queen Moron's palace yesterday. Hmm, I like that fish. It's my favorite kind. Uh, this one that I'm eating? You heard her! But I'm eating this one. Oh, but I would like it very much. Anemone... Don't you know this is the ceiling, princess? The hair of the throne. Give her the fish now. Uh, she's not my princess, though. Hey, Pike, this is an understandable mistake. You haven't posted rules yet. Whoever gets it first, they get to eat it. So that's big tails fish. But the princess wants it. I do. Mother would want me to have it. There's a lot of other fish. You're both welcome to join us this evening when we go catch more. Sigh. That'll be fun. I'll come, too. There, there are some awesome late mountain lakes, Anemone. Oh, very well. So that's how it's going to be? I don't like this at all. You'll pay for this, big tail. No one disrespects the seaweed princess. Time to cool down, Pike. Marsh! Hey, everyone. This is my brother, Marsh. Meet my woman. Is Sora with you? Yep, Sora's right behind you. Are we safe? Oh, Crane, I wish you were here. Miss Reed, I saw her. Can't sleep. Not safe anywhere. Sora's like me. Everyone's anxious, but Sora's afraid. She needs a claw mate like Kinkajou. Or maybe I could help her. Maybe this is one good thing I can do with my powers. 
I'm Moon, remember? Would you like some goat? Thank you. Umber, Marsh, Zora, Clay. Hey, Clay. Hi. Who's in your winglet, Zora? You're in gold, right? There's a rain wing who seems nice. She's blind. That's Tamarin. Tamarin's my best friend. Best friend? Ha, that's okay. King Kitcher probably has lots of best friends. Probably six more by the end of lunchtime. A sand wing named Onyx. A sky wing with a bad scar. That's sea wing Pike and a night wing called Big Tail. Pike and Big Tail, they were just fighting. Pike fought with Carnelian the day we got here, too. And that's my claw mate, Icicle. Winter Sister, has she mentioned being in line for the Icewing Throne yet? To be honest, from what we've heard about her, we figured we had to put Icicle with the nicest dragon possible to avoid casualty. I hope it's going alright, Sora. It's fine, Clay. Nod. Let me know if it's not. It's important to me that you're, you'll be happy here. Do we have history together next, Sora? Are we with together? Oh, I have to go to the library first. Um, Sora, do you want to come with me? I do. That was nice of Moon. Ah, uh, maybe they'll be friends. Does Moon like Sora better than me? My boring little clomet with a nightwing. What's this all about? Um, the library is great, isn't it? I like the leaf windows. Nod. Me too. Is that what I seem like, shy and really hard to talk to? It's easy to talk to my mystery friend, but I don't have to hide anything from him. I guess I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Hello? It's Moon and Sora. Oh, hi, Sora. I found that squirrel on ice and plane. Finding out, figuring out my claw mate. How are you, Moon? How was class this morning? Terrifying. All right, interesting. Do you have any squirrels about dream visitors? Why? You haven't been visited by someone, have you? I'm just curious. EX Queen Scarlet has one of the dream, three dream visitors, and she hates us. I worry she'll scare uh, our students in their dreams. Or worse. Tap, 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 tap. How did she get a dream visitor? Does anyone know where the other two are? Tap, 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 tap. We think Scarlet found hers in Burn's weird link tower. Burn must not have known it was there. The second one goes at school. Here's at school. Sonny got it from this scav a scavenger who stole it from the sand wings. The third one was on the Nightwing Island, but it was probably destroyed in the volcano. Tap, 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 tap. Here it is. Here. This should be the Animus History. It's about several Animus Prime objects. But the dream visitors definitely have a selection section in there. Thanks. Um, could Dragon use one to talk inside someone's head while they're awake? No, they're enchanted to get into dreams. Nothing else. Why do you ask? Just a story I heard once. I promise you, little moon, I am no sky. And who are you? No answer, of course. There are more animus touched objects than I expected, considering there haven't been many animus dragons, as far as anyone knows. The animus history. A Sealing Summer Palace location known only to Sealings, created by Prince Albatross, who enchanted the stone to grow into this design. Albatross was one of the first known animus dragons, hatched over 2,000 years ago, before anyone realized the terrible price of using animus magic. Nobody, re nobody realized that Albatross used his power. Whenever Albatross used his powers, they were slowly that they were slowly driving him insane. That's really pretty. I wish I could create something like that. Not until the Royal Sea Wing Massacre. It was a devastating shock to the whole kingdom of the sea, while Albatross tried to murder his entire family. He killed nine dragons, including the queen and his own daughter, before being killed himself. Among the survivors was the granddaughter of Pearl, who banned animus magic after ascending the throne. Another survivor, Phantom's Phantom, Pearl's brother and Albatross' grandson, was himself an animus dragon. After the massacre, he, re he refused to ever use his powers, except perhaps once. See, Phantom. I guess there are worse powers than mines in the world. Dream Visitors, enchanted by the first known Nightwing Animus Dragon, Darkstalker. The formidable Darkstalker also possessed the powers of mind reading and prophecy. He created three Dream Visitors, one for himself, one for his best friend, see Phantom, and one for his beloved, see uh, Fearsight. That's sweet. Who would I give one to? Mother? Oh, mother, of course. Who else? Tinkaju? No one, really. If anyone sees inside my head, how would he ever trust me again? Ultimately, Darkstalker grew too powerful and ambitious. He claimed he'd make himself immortal. Rumors said he 
plan to overthrow the Nightwing Queen after he killed his father with a previously unknown aspect, aspect of Animus' power, the tribe agreed he was too dangerous to be free. Darkstalker and Clearsight disappeared together and were probably killed at the same time. Details are lost, and it's believed Darkstalker was defeated by an Animus Touch object created by Phantom, the only time Phantom used his power. Mother never told me any Nightwing ghost, sto Nightwing ghost stories. Read the section. Fearful of Night Darkstalker's return, the Nightwing is moved to a new secret home. Some believe the ghost stories that say he will rise again, seeking revenge. Read the section on Phantom. On Phantom? Why? Just read it. Phantom traumatized after surviving the Royal Sea Wing Massacre, uh, perpetrated by his grandfather, Sea Albatross, swore never to use his animus magic. Phantom was sent to the Night Kingdom, where it was hoped that his sad story and awareness of animus magic would help soften the brilliant, ambitious Darkstalker. They became close friends, but Darkstalker could not be convinced. His powers were dangerous. Legend says Phantom agreed to use his powers just once to enchanting an object that could stop Darkstalker since no, nothing and nobody else could. It must have worked. Darkstalker was never seen again. How sad. I wonder what he enchanted. It was a bracelet. What? A wrist cuff. Enchanted to make me sleep forever. They couldn't kill me because I made myself immortal. That's part of the story is true. I knew it right before Clearsight put the bracelet on me. I saw Phantom touch that. He broke a sacred oath to his sister just to betray me. What are you saying? I'm saying, nice to meet you, Moon. I'm Darkstalker. And that's going to end today's episode. Uh, I have a Zelda Breath of the Wild gameplay posted today and yesterday's video. If you haven't watched that yet, please go watch it. Uh, please subscribe and like this video, and I'll be seeing you next time. Peace.